This is it, the uh, final good day of matches in the group stage, Group D. Not a great uh, pre-tournament spell, Garner. They lost the match 4-0, the uh, first time cross. So he has to try and exploit the Dutch batten down the hatches. She got the pace to get beyond the Ghanaian defender who's coming across, and the cross is good. Well, they are now being supplemented from the midfield. Well away on their way into this contest. That's a better ball. That was a much better ball. And that's a terrific tackle as well. It's uh, left the Dutch player down there, and the referee now dis ample time, of course. There'll be time that will be added on. We'll have about 75 minutes now. The goalkeeper has to get back, and it could come to life here with an opportunity for the potential substitutes as the ball is lost here, and Ghana have an opportunity. The ball is stroked across into the path of Abdullahi. Two in white are in the centre now. She'll pull it back in here. Uh, it's a good cross, it's away from the Netherlands. Senna Kuhlman, another from uh, PSV. That's better, and this might just lead to something now. She is in on goal here. Can she finish from the angle? Well, the keeper's got a hand on the ball. And there wasn't an electric pass because it was a, a good block off by the Ghanaians. He will pick up the scraps again now. Looks as though she's going to be on side here. She's got to keep that ball in play to start. Puts her foot on it, does well. And uh, it'll be another corner kick for Ghana here. Well played. She's the, the player who seems to have been in the picture most of all, Mukarama Abdullahi. She settles for winning this corner off Nistad. He's getting shots in on goal though. And once again, it'll be. Alkamadi with the right boot, getting this one up to halfway. But the uh, pressure is intensifying from those in the white, and well, <laughs> I won't call it a hit. It was very much a toe poke by Nyama, who had the shot a few minutes ago as well. She had her 19th birthday on uh, Monday, just a couple of days ago. I hope she was able to party. Outside the centre circle, if it holds up, uh, there could be a problem for the Dutch. They've got themselves uh, another corner kick uh, with the hustling there out on the right hand side of Sus every outfield player is uh, just about now in the Ghanaian half, which means the applicants are back defending fully and defending well so far. Oh, the keeper tips it in the air, they lead. Goalkeeping error, again we've seen that. Reisbergen there to poach the goal, and the Netherlands are in front. Disappointing really for Garner, who've had the better of the exchanges in the last few minutes. But the fact that they just managed to keep that ball alive was crucial to this Netherlands goal. Exactly what they wanted, because they'd not been playing at their best. Chases it down, the keeper flails a bit, puts it in the air, Reisberg is racing onto it. But all credit to the player who kept the ball and the move alive there, Reisberg gets the glory. Netherlands 1, Ghana 0. Just a tickle off the defender on the line as well. But uh, Lise Reisbergen, who has a, a dozen goals for her club, Den Haag, his last goal was scored against AZ Alkmaar, has given the Netherlands a priceless lead. On 28 minutes. Uh, Reisberg is on her way again here. Tries to flight it across there to another orange. Could keep this in, actually. She does do well. So a very good piece of play from Abdullahi, who gets the corner set play oh it was a lovely set play as well and it deserved the goal oh, North, Netherlands are trying to storm into a two goal lead maybe here you see it side is attacking now every orange shirt comes across to challenge though but she's done brilliantly keeps on going as well might shout for a handball non given the AR might have a look at that excellent play though from uh, Doris Boadua. Well, it hits the arm. We 
have seen so many penalties given here but still have an interest in this under 20 world Netherlands with two up against three tried to use her pace to go all the way here whips it across and just behind well Reisbergen is a threat there's no question about that I thought she might have got all the way here chose to go on the outside rather than the inside of the uh, defender however and he's out for the corner kick well defended a half station of potential danger coach still looking quite calm as if she has a right to be really and it's opened up here for the goalkeeper to put it down and she's done it again every time she puts the ball away it leads to somebody ramming it and passed her into the net and that's exactly what Ziva Henry has done the girl who set up the first goal scores the second with a flourish Netherlands 2 Ghana 0 and once again goalkeeper Conlon at fault she stays on the line she dives and can only pour the ball out really and they're accepting the gift is Henry very happy to accept it as well the three nicely taken down and nicely played through as well just an opportunity maybe for Ghana to get that priceless first goal she hits it brilliantly oh they've broken their duck and it's an absolute sizzler that does the trick joy at last for the Africans what a strike as well from Doris Boadawa absolutely brilliant that's what they came to see they came all the way to Costa Rica to see this sort of a flourish she just gets into the possession but she takes one touch two touches the third and the fourth and it's the fifth actually that is superb and the ball is sent sizzling beyond the, the Netherlands keeper the net is bulging and it's Ghana who have bulged it 2-1 now game on again United States of America as well the Netherlands are coming on here again keeper does well this time Mafia free kick Netherlands looking to curl it in oh she spilled another ball and this time gets away with it but oh, goodness me she did give you a oh she will get the shot through not afraid to have a crack that was more of a zoom of there's a willful runner lovely piece of play again with Henry involved who nearly got tripped there needs a good cross in stab to safety as long as the offside flag stays down I don't think it will must be offside surely no the flag has stayed down I can't quite believe that uh, is this uh, gonna be the third for the Netherlands they're still nibbling away and still and finally the goalkeeper has her clutches on it can't quite believe that well, <laughs> looked to me for all the world as though there were one, two, maybe even three offside, but they were allowed to go on. Reisbergen couldn't finish it. She had two or three nibbles out. The goalkeeper kept going up, sitting down, getting up again, and gradually grabbing the ball. Which I'm pretty sure it would do. They're not finding it easy to procure. The referee has to get out of the way, then the ball is pushed into the path of a Dutch player who'll get into the 18-yard area, hits the shot! Hits the net! Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant from Reisbergen. She took it all on there, they needed a third, they've got their third. It's two for Liz Reisbergen, it's three for Netherlands, and surely the Dutch are on their way into the last eight. We've had some spectacular strikes in this stadium. And this is a venomous one. Only a second touch with the right boot. It flashes past the goalkeeper's uh, despairing fingers. And the Netherlands stretch themselves away into a two-goal lead at 3-1. And it's been a very USA 3 as it stands. Netherlands have got a taste for another one here. Blocked once, twice. The 
crowd like acrobatics and that's what they got there with the overhead clearance from Niami Netherlands throw in four in orange around the 18 yard area they're coming on into the penalty area here this could be a spot kick it is almost inevitable as soon as you saw the lunge you knew the referee would be pointing to the penalty spot and Netherlands have a big opportunity to get that fourth goal as a result of that tackle from Amponsa who's been booked already and the referee could be quite cruel here and send Amponsa off I suppose there's the challenge it's on Everett no question in the referee's mind that it was a penalty kick I think she's going to be sympathetic towards the aggressor and uh, not send her off but there's a chance here for the captain of the Netherlands Marit Oye to get her second goal of the tournament the previous one was a penalty against United States of America and this one could condemn United States to going home irrespective of the result in Alajuela it is Marit Oye she's attempting to make it 4-1 to the Netherlands and that's what it is makes no mistake two penalties out of two for Oye the skipper Netherlands are on their way into the last eight